I have my first ever CBCS unboxing. It's a signature verification, a single book. And what we're going to do is, this should be a new case. Let's compare it to the old CBCS case, as well as the newer CGC case. Up next, on this video from Bronzeville Comics. Welcome panelologists, this is Jim from Bronzeville Comics coming to you with another video. And before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at Bronzeville underscore comics on whatnot at Bronzeville underscore comics where we do sales Monday night at 10 p.m. Eastern time. Um, uh, I'm uh, There's a link in the description of this video where if you've not yet signed on to whatnot and you want to get on, you can get $10 off your first purchase. It doesn't have to be with me. Also in the description of this video, a link to my eBay store as well as my email. So, <coughs> um, I had sent this book. I got this book uh, a while ago for a good deal, I thought, on eBay. Bought it for $200, but that was like 2021. Height of the boom. I still think I'm doing well with this book, depending upon the grade. I think I had it at like a seven so i gave it to my buddy at my lcs and he doesn't do a lot of cbs submissions he said okay i'll take it I, I cleaned and pressed it and we wanted to send it into cbcs for the signature verification so it had been a long time so i followed up with him and i said whatever happened he goes oh wait a minute he sends me a picture of the book it was like in the drawer in his uh on his desk uh, on a shelf um so he sent it in, and that was maybe two weeks ago. So this came back very quickly. Um, he opened it up just to make sure it wasn't uh, cracked or anything. And um, it's for signature verification. So let's take a look. Hopefully it got the yellow label from CBCS. For those of you that are unfamiliar, CBCS probably is number two in the marketplace for graded comic books. But one of the things, the advantages they have over CGC is CGC, if uh, they don't witness the signature, it has to be at one of you know their events or where they have uh, a verified witness there. Um, very well bubble wrapped here. Uh, and I'm not used to the, the packaging. I'm trying not to look at the grade. Um, you know, you bring it to a show, you send the books into CGC where they have creators signing the books or you bring it to a show where they have uh, signature verification or you have uh, people that uh, are um, signature that work for CGC that, uh, are, sorry about the tape signature verifiers I guess is the best way to describe it and I have a few friends that uh, that do that um, you uh, you know get a um, but if you just send it in, like it got signed, you know, 20 years ago by Stan Lee, um, and you send it into CGC, if he signs it on the cover, you're going to get a green qualified label, and I'll say Stan Lee written in pen on cover. They don't bother to verify the signatures. And this is really hard to get the tape off without looking at it. Um, CBCS will verify the signatures. Now, have there been instances where the signatures, I'm sorry, hold on a minute. were not actual signatures of the creators involved. Sorry. Yes. I think I can get it out of the bubble wrap now. That's going to This is this is making for great uh, content and great audio. If you're listening in the background, you're probably going, "Oh my goodness, what's going on?" Yeah, packing tape on bubble wrap. So it is pretty uh, well bubble wrapped here. I mean, that I see yellow. So that is a good sign. Um, and and that is one of the advantages CBCS has over CGC. Now, the other advantage they have is potentially their cases may be a little more tamper-proof, but that's something that's come up very recently in the hobby with the problems um, that CGC had with the reholder scam. Oh, my goodness. Ah, thank goodness this isn't a raw book. You'd be putting spine ticks in this all over the place. Man. Let's 
certainly uh, well protected, I would say. Okay, we're almost there. This builds up the suspense, does it not? And I don't want to use the knife because I don't want to... Oh my goodness. There we go. Getting there, getting there. Almost. I don't want to scratch the case. Okay, I think I can extricate it. There we go. Out of the bubble wrap. Okay. So, and we have these new cases from uh, CBCS. So here we have a copy of X-Men... Um, number 49. This is the first appearance of Polaris, and it is uh, cover art by Jim Steranko. And we see there, verified signature, Jim Steranko. This is to Dan, or Danny. E. I don't know. There's no shortage of Jim Steranko signatures out there. I thought this was approximately a seven. So let's see what it came back. Fingers crossed. 6-0. Ooh, that's disappointing. I thought it was better than that. Uh, yeah, I'm seeing a little something down there. But cream to off-white pages. So I'm going to try to figure out. Now, a few things. So here is an older CBCS case. So we can compare the CBCS logo. Actually, I think it's a little sleeker on the new one uh, compared to like, compared to the old one, and it has like a little bit of blue in there, which kind of offsets from the uh, yellow. Uh, I think their um, the font on their actual grade is a little more prominent. I, I, it kind of looks good. I was looking at some heritage auctions of stuff sent into CBCS, and I thought that this popped a little bit uh, nicer than actually the CGC on the pictures. The case itself is, I think, the same. There's no difference in the case. And these cases are fairly sturdy. This is a recent CGC submission I got. And, I don't know. Um... The CBCS is maybe a little bit wider. I don't know if they, I mean, it seems as though there could be a little bit more wiggle room to get in there down at the bottom. On the CGC case. And that seems, the CBCS case, there's really not an opportunity. I'm not like to, to find this. I, I'm not, you can't really feel the seam the way you can on a CGC case. So I'm gonna take a minute and try to estimate uh, some value on this book. And let's see, what do we got? I was on a paperwork there, this bill. How much does it cost? $70 to get it graded. Mm. That is, and plus shipping and insurance, $103.40. So that's, hmm, I'm, was it worth it? Mm. Let's take a look at comps. And it's hard because A, it's signature series. And B, it's CBCS, not CGC. I'll be back in a minute. So the nearest comps I can get on um, of sold items are both CGC signatures of four fives for $147.50 and $178. Um, now, if we look at what this book is worth in general, X-Men 49... The last sales in a CGC blue label, uh, the 30-day average is $174. Uh, you have $174 in February, a $200 sale in January, $191, $149, $199, $200. So just south of $200. Signature series, going to come up less often. 6.0 a year ago sold for 235. In 2021, during the comic boom, sold for 500. Um, 
So if we go to grades around it, a 5.5 five to back in 2014, a 6.5 in 2021. So it doesn't sell, you know, and these are all CGC verified um, sales. And it has gone down in recent years. So I'm not sure. I'll probably, hopefully, maybe break even on the book. I was hoping for a higher grade than this. Now, one thing I will say, one thing that I think CGC has a big advantage over CBCS is the size of their certification numbers. I mean, this is, it's, you know, I'm holding it right up to the camera. But when I look at this with my naked eye, it's really hard for me to tell, like, is that a 924-D2 or 924-O2? It's really a challenge. Um... So, well, let's take a look at the um, the grading notes. They have the QR code on the back to access the grading notes. Yeah, I guess there's still, there was some, like, rust migration from, like, another book that got onto this book. So, let's see. Um, notes, signature verified, spine stress breaks color. Yep. You see that down in that dude's face. General cover wear bends, creases, and soiling. I, I did do, I did clean it up, just a regular dry clean. Small tear top right corner back cover. Yep. Small rust stains at top and bottom staple on back cover. I don't think the rust stains... Yeah, because the staples are completely on the front cover. So the rust stains... And you really can't get this off. At least I don't have a technique to. Um, this was probably a book raw that for years was sitting on it. That the staples were kind of rusty. And um, the uh, it, it migrated to the back of the cover. So those are the, the graders' notes. It is a pretty cool book. The, the one thing I would say is that the, the cost of the signature verification was expensive. Um, that's... I think certainly certainly something to be considered uh, when submitting, you know, to CBCS for a signature verification. Um, and the question is, how much more is the book worth with the signature than just a regular blue label? Uh, I'm looking. There's a CGC 7.0 uh, listed for 445 assigned a 6.5 cgc listed for 600 and again listing prices are a 7.0 listed for 500 on cgc a 7.0 listed for 600 not a lot of cbcs yeah so i think yeah what do i think this is worth 300 maybe if the raw book is just south of 200 maybe 275 i don't know how much is a signature worth let me think let me know what you think in the comments below uh you know they, the colors on this are pretty good there's a little you know for this white book i think it, it pops a little bit but there is general general cover wear and i had i had worked on this book quite a while ago so yeah that's pretty cool um, you know, I bought it off eBay. It was for what I thought the grade was. Um, and some people do say that CBCS is a little bit harsher at grading the CGC. I think the 6.0 is probably about right. Um, you know, I haven't seen the book in a long time, to be honest with you. 
So, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, and if you're interested in the book, hit me up. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe we can uh, make a deal if somebody's interested. Let me know what you think about the, uh, the, the new CBCS cases. And will they ever overtake CGC in the marketplace? I don't think so. Anyway, this is, uh, I'd like to thank you for stopping by. In the meantime, you can take a look at a couple of my other videos here. And this is Jim saying until next time, enjoy your comics.